You're in here to get yourself a FL Studio recording template or learn how to make one for yourself. And I'm not gonna waste your time. Let's get straight into it. I'm gonna break down this FL Studio recording template that I made about a year ago and since then updated it a few times so you can learn how to make one for yourself or if you want, you can go to the link in the description and download this one. Let's look at the playlist first. At the very top, there is a beat channel for you to drag your beat onto. Just like that. I know the BPM of my beat is 97, so we're gonna set it to that. Right below it, there is a recording channel. Here you want to route your microphone by clicking on this icon and pick your input. I'm gonna route mine later. The purpose of the recording channel is for you to record everything here and drag it down when you're done onto the corresponding verse, hook, bridge, background vocal, or anything else it might be. This way you don't have to keep routing your microphone onto different mixer channels or load your vocal chain onto different channels. Everything is ready for you to record onto the recording channel and I'm gonna break down the rest right now. Because I'm using track mode inside the playlist, if you right click on any of these channels and go to track mode, audio track, you will see that it's routed to a mixer channel directly. This way, any audio clip that you drag onto any of these playlist tracks will also automatically end up onto the same mixer track. Before we do a test recording, let's look at the mixer and how everything's laid out. On the recording channel itself, there is a stock vocal chain plus fresh air, which is a free plugin for you to not sound dry and raw while recording and be a little bit more polished in your headphones. The first slot is empty for your auto-tune if that's what you do while recording. Of course, you can change anything about the vocal chain to your taste. However, I recommend to not use latency heavy plugins because that will cause latency while you're recording and that's not what you want. Another important thing that I made sure to set correctly for the recording channel is for these effects to not get printed into the stem as you record. The way I did that is by clicking on this icon and set it to external input only. This assures that nothing but the direct signal that goes into your microphone will be printed into the recording. If you set this to post effects, all these effects will be printed into the recording. Right below that, you can select whether you want to monitor your own voice while recording or not. The vocal chain starts with a corrective EQ, a high pass filter around 100 Hz and two dips around 500 and 2.5. From there I'm using Maximus on the DSR split band preset, going into Fruity Limiter on compressor mode for gentle compression during recording, into Fruity Blood Overdrive for some color and saturation, and finally Fresh Air for a combination of top end EQ, saturation and a little bit of a compression. Since you will be recording your vocals on recording channel and drag it out onto the verses or hooks etc, you might be wondering if these effects on the recording channel are not being printed into my recording and I drag it out of the recording channel, then everything's gonna go back to raw and dry. To avoid that problem, I made sure to create a vocal bus. All the verses, hooks, and bridge tracks are going onto the vocal bus. On the vocal bus itself, there is the same stock vocal chain that we had on the recording channel, which means as soon as you drag out of the recording channel onto any of these, you will still hear the same sound that you were hearing in your headphones while recording. The two double and ad-lib tracks are going into BGV bus, which is empty. If you're finding the video helpful so far, please drop a like to support the channel and do let me know in the comments what you would change or add to the template. Let's get back to the video. All the way to the right hand side of the mixer, we have six FX tracks routed and ready. Four reverbs of different kinds and two delays. All of these are FLU Studio stock. So if you want to have some reverb or delay while while recording your voice, simply select the recording channel and send it onto any of these reverbs or delays that you want, set the amount and you will be hearing the effect in your headphones but it won't get printed into the recording. Make sure to replicate the same effect sense that you send your recording channel to with the vocal bus. While we're discussing the effect sense, all these six channels are going into effects bus. On the effects bus there is an EQ where I'm filtering the very lows and the very highs. Because I know many of you guys are downloading beats off of YouTube or BeatStars and more often than not those beats are mastered or relatively loud which makes it difficult for some of you to make your vocals sit on top of the beat and cut through. I added an extra touch to the template that will come in handy for you. The vocal bus which contains all the lead vocals is being side chained to the beat channel. Simply selecting the vocal bus I right click onto the beat channel 
and sidechain to this track. On the beat channel, I loaded a free EQ called TDR Nova, which if you don't have, you should definitely get. This plugin has dynamic EQ feature built in, which means that I can click on the gear icon, go to the second tab, processing, and under sidechain, route my vocal bus. Then inside TDR Nova, I changed internal sidechain to external sidechain. I changed the visualizer from input to sidechain, which will show us the sidechain vocal that's coming in. And lastly, I made a wide band, clicked on threshold to make it dynamic, set my ratio, attack and release, and adjust my threshold in a way that every time my lead vocal is singing, this particular band on my beat channel will get ducked down. Let's now do a quick recording test on the beat we have available in the project. Bear in mind, I'm not a rapper, but I will do my best. So firstly, I'm gonna route my microphone, mic line seven in my case, and you can see the signal is coming in. Click on the record icon, audio into playlist as an audio clip. She said for one night, I wanna be a hoe Pull the seat back, we gotta ride real slow I'm like, oh my, how many shots did she throw? Fuck it, I'ma lean back for the show Yeah, for one night, she wanna be a hoe In it for the pleasure, man, not for the dough So I sit back, push the gas real slow Man, I'm so high, but this bitch real low That's the best I could do before breakfast This part of the recording is a hook So I'm gonna select it, shift and down arrows to go to hook one Let's press play and look at the docking effect in real time she said for one night, I wanna be a hoe Pull the seat back, we gotta ride real slow I'm like, oh my, how many shots did she throw? Fuck it, I'ma lean back for the show Yeah, for one night, she wanna be a hoe Let's add some room reverb and delay She said for one night, I wanna be a hoe Pull the seat back, we gotta ride real slow I'm like, oh my, how many shots did she throw? Fuck it, I'ma lean back for the show Yeah, for one night, she wanna be a hoe in it for the pleasure, man, not for the dough So I sit back, push the gas real slow Man, I'm so high, but this bitch real low Those pops and clicks that you might hear is because I'm recording in OBS And it's the same input microphone, it's just a weird setup on Mac One last thing, on the master bus I made sure the limiter is set correctly The ceiling is set to minus 0.5 And there is no amount of gain being added So no volume boost only control in case you're going above zero or near above zero. I hope you found the video and the template useful. If you want to download it, the link for it is in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.